As you know, um, South uh, Darfur has borders with South Sudan. And um, I highly, um, uh, my view on, on, on the impact would be that the two parties need really to think, uh, particularly I know there may be issues with border demarcation. Now, indeed, as I said before, initially it was between, it was within the Sudan, now it may, with coming in of a new country, it's going to be, it could be an international uh, uh, dispute. Therefore, it requires a bit of uh, um, uh, wisdom from both uh, North and South to see to it that it, it, it shouldn't be a cause of tension. Now, if it were to happen, of course, certainly uh, um, it, it's the fool. Um, any escalation, any tension will certainly affect civilians, it, it, it affects movement of people, therefore our protection mandate gets even more stretched. Right. Uh, th th that is our biggest concern, but uh, I, I really do hope that, you know, common sense will prevail and right. they resolve this amicably as they've been able to resolve these other CPA issues. Darfur as a region to begin with, um, uh, um, looking at the um, seaport from Port Sudan to Darfur, in itself you're looking of a uh, distance of more than 2,000 kilometers uh, with very little point structure, that is number one. Number two, uh, operationally, if you look at the airports within Darfur itself, um, do, uh, do not have capacity to handle uh, um, large cargo aircrafts. Three is total lack of infrastructure within Darfur. Therefore, movement, including our own patrols, are times restricted. It gets worse during the rainy season. We, 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 we are hardly able to move. It's not only Americans. All of us should care about the food. Um, the people there have suffered so long. Uh, suffering still is going on going. And but that said and done, uh, now America and the U.S. in particular have taken uh, a central role in resolving the north-south issue in Sudan in as far as implementation of the CP is concerned.